This is Blue Bottle Bunny Farm, and I'm coming to you from my chair down by the swamp. That's just a little take on uh, Sage Wanderer there, a YouTuber that I greatly admire. I like listening to his stuff, and if you ever get a chance, go over to his channel and check him out, because he, he tells some real good stories. He tells stories better than me. And that's saying something, because I'm a good storyteller. Anyway, today, what I want to tell you about... Oh, wait before I do. Oh, let's see if I can get him. Check out my dog. He loves the mud. Brody, you love the mud, don't you, buddy? Okay. And there's that little guy. There's Merle. Merle Haggard Humphrey. Say hey. All right, so... I want to tell you about something that I have discovered that is just phenomenal. It's called FLFE. Focused Life Force Energy. And it, or some people call it fluffy because seriously, it makes you feel fluffy on the inside. It's so good. Through a bunch of stuff that I don't understand and none of it really makes sense to me, but they have some kind of quantum machine. Maybe they got a quantum computer. I don't know, but it focuses energy that's like Tesla type energy. I don't understand this stuff, but I'm just going to quote what I, what I know. Uh, some kind of energy and it entangles in your energy and it comes in through your cell phone and it makes you feel better. It raises consciousness. They can explain it a whole lot better on their site. It's uh, flfe.net. <clears throat> they have a 15-day free trial, and you just, they don't even ask for your credit card information. So you put this, you, you put your phone number and your name and your email address in there, and they send you the FLE wave. And when I first put it in my phone, I was feeling kind of frustrated about the whole, you know, process. So I finally got through the process of getting my information entered. And um, then I just went about my day. Now, I get frustrated a lot at work. A lot. Like every little thing is a new frustration because I'm always being interrupted in the middle of what I'm doing to go do something else. And that bugs me. And it's always problem solving um, and sometimes I may not know how to do something and then I have to learn on the spot. So I'm frequently frustrated at work. Uh, I also work with my husband and, you know, that has its own set of challenges. I'm not going to say anything bad about Randy, but, you know, I might be hard to work with. Anyway, we have issues sometimes. And, um, so I put this fluffy on my phone and... That day, I came down here to the swamp, and I just felt better. Like, I hadn't been to the swamp in, like, two weeks. And I love this. This is, like, my favorite thing to do is just sit out here and drink beer and, you know, watch the dogs and listen to the frogs. You know, it's a nice place. I come down here for about an hour, but I hadn't been here for a while. And on the day I installed the fluffy, I started coming back. And, um... You know, I have a superpower, by the way. Yes, mosquitoes do not bite me. So this is like, nobody else wants to come down here with me because it's like really, really mosquito-y. And uh, so it's a place I can go to be my, by myself because, you know, sometimes that's good. Especially, you know, working with your husband, that's, um, and living with him at the same time. Sometimes you got to have a place just to, go and talk to your camera so um, anyway I started noticing the difference on the fluffy like the first day and then by the time it was bedtime I was so up in mood and disposition that I couldn't sleep that night and I was beginning to think you know there might be something to this fluffy thing so I took my phone I put it in the kitchen so it'd be away from me and I finally fell asleep and the next day I woke up and I just was in the best mood. It was really nice. I mean, full of gratitude and um, 
enthusiasm, motivation. I felt motivated. Um, I felt motivated to want to try to solve different problems at work, you know, things that normally would have frustrated me just sort of challenged me. I was like, okay, this is interesting. This is new. I wanted to talk to people more and I don't like to talk to anybody. Usually, you know, I didn't say GD or the F word all day long. And that's good. In fact, here's how, I mean, I'm so embarrassed, but that has sometimes become part of my lexicon. I hate that word and I shouldn't say it, but I get so mad. Sometimes just saying a taboo word makes you feel better. So probably not a good practice and I'm curbing it, especially since the fluffy. I think I said it twice in two weeks. Yeah, it's a good, good little program. And like I said, I'm not sure I understand it, but I know it works. The other day, um, oh, it was yesterday. I woke up and I just felt off for the first time in two weeks. And I got got to work with Randy, had breakfast and everything before work, and then got to work and just felt frustrated, kind of like my old self again. And kind of like that feeling when your antidepressants stop working. Yeah, it kind of felt like that. Oh, by the way, I don't take antidepressants anymore. I finally got off of those and you know, life's better. Those things make me want to kill myself, so I can't take them. <sighs> it's probably more than you need to know. I'll probably have to start this video over. Mm -hmm. Probably should. But anyway, let's just keep going as if I didn't say that. Um, yeah, I woke up feeling kind of off yesterday, so I, um, looked at my email I was like I wonder if my fluffy subscription you know the free trial is over and I looked at the email and sure enough it was and I was like that's significant that's really significant because I mean I could tell when it went off so I subscribed I paid for a month and uh, wow by lunchtime I was feeling pretty grumpy by four o'clock, I was good. By six o'clock, eight o'clock, I was great. I was feeling great. And I love to feel great. I want to feel great all the time. You know, there are things you can take that make you feel great. But they have this terrible withdrawal that I never want to go through again. So, you know, I don't, I don't take anything anymore at all. Not even Tylenol. And, uh, oh, I drink a beer a day. About three times a week. But this fluffy, I mean, it feels kind of like it sort of feels like a drug. It feels like Feels like good opiates. Or the first two weeks of pro well, the second two weeks of Prozac when it first starts working on you and you're like, whoo, life's better. Yeah. Maybe it's addicting. I mean, I certainly noticed when it went off. Hmm. So, have you ever tried the fluffy? Do you think it's like a drug? Uh, do you think it's dangerous? Do you think it could be addictive? Do you know any more about it than I can find out on the website? And do you have any experience with it? Because I would like for people to reach out to me that have tried it because, you know, I'm really sensitive to energies. And that sounds so freaking hokey. I mean... I'm sensitive to energies, but I am. I will, I can tell when we've had a coronal mass ejection on the sun, and I know how that sounds, but I feel it. I feel it in my mood. I feel it in my body. And um, so they call these subtle energies, and so I can feel it. Um, if you can feel it, 
you know, let me know. All right. Talk to you later.